this is um, zero gravity training, zero G, otherwise known as a weightlessness environment. We, um, the experimental craft in this particular case is the Illusion 76. And um, you know, the, the parabolic arcs uh, in regards to performing a zero G uh, manoeuvre, or the parabolas, um, are undertaken between 20,000 and 30,000 feet. So normally the, uh, the, the plane on, a, on an incline angle, uh, we start to experience uh, two Gs. And as we start to get the, uh, the top of the arc, we experience some weightlessness. And then another two, uh, another two G layer on the other uh, decline. And then we, re we repeat these, um, these parabolas uh, and actually perform different activities. In this particular case over here, we're actually just um, um, jumping from the, uh, the floor to the other uh, ceiling. And as you can see too, we've also got our, our parachutes primed in the event that we need to um, evacuate the craft. Our weightlessness environment is, uh, is incredibly unique. And as you can see over here, just being thrusted up and push ourselves off of our feet, back to the ground. And some flag draping there, some moments of our patriotism. And the mother country. And over here, we've, we've got our Superman pose. We're upside down here with our hands on our hips and uh, some great memorable scenes there with myself and Richard Garriott. Pretty amazing fun. And the, the Buddhist revolution, I guess. Uh, and uh, this is pretty cool. Looks like we're meditating and being spun upside down. And uh, quite a few revolutions there. And then we start to pick up the tempo here. And I've got uh, Alexi over here who's just spinning me around and around and around. That was a great feeling actually. And uh, you just can't stop smiling. But uh, obviously the, uh, the effects of motion sickness, uh, it could be very, very severe and dramatic. And um, for most people, it's also known as the, uh, the vomit comet. So you need to um, take some motion, motion um, sickness tablets um, to ensure that you don't get sick. Over here, we are, we're actually donning the, uh, the KV-2, the, the so-called scaphanders, otherwise, otherwise known as spacesuits. And we have to actually put these on in a weightlessness environment. In the event that our um, space capsule um, decompresses, uh, we need to um, put on our spacesuits because effectively it's a life support system which can actually pressurize our suits in regards to ventilation and also oxygen. And uh, I couldn't resist over here um, with the, uh, the release of the thrilling air. So I took the thrilling air to in a, a weightlessness environment and um, spinning around, having heaps of heaps of fun and uh, a great bus too. Actually, yeah, the book currently resides up in the International Space Station too, so um, very privileged to have it up there. <laughs>